Hello, ladies and gentlemen of the internet. I'm your host, Escalante TV. Now, the moment I'm speaking, the Xbox Series X is around the corner from launching. The uh, I'm recording this sort of the day before uh, launch day. And uh, I just wanted to sort of tell uh, a chill story uh, about probably one of the first true consoles that I ever owned and uh, how I got it. So... Uh, th throughout uh, my childhood, I, I've noticed that, um, you know, my bigger brother uh, was into gaming and he also got me into gaming. Uh, my bigger brother used to uh, play on consoles like the PlayStation 2, the original Xbox and um, the Xbox 360. He had his own Xbox 360 and... Uh, he used to let me play on it, but um, I couldn't really play alone. I had to always uh, get his permission or uh, play with him to use the console. Uh, he had the original white one, uh, which unfortunately it also faced the red ring of death. Uh, there were times where I used it and I used the towel method to sort of get that red ring of death out of there. I would use it when he was out of the house and I would panic whenever the red ring of death would happen. And I would use all those, you know, crazy methods of trying to get rid of it and stuff. But it eventually gave out and died. And um, alongside that, I had my own Xbox uh, 360 that uh, I was gifted on the Christmas of 2011. When I was in the fifth grade, uh, I wasn't exactly the fittest kid on the block. Um, I'm going to show you guys a picture of how I looked like during my fifth grade uh, year and uh, around my early uh, early to late childhood years. I wasn't uh, really exactly the fittest kid. I wasn't I didn't have a flat stomach. Um, this is me now. I still kind of look like garbage, but you know what? Um, you know, back then I was uh, fa made fun of for my weight. Uh, yes, I was fat shamed uh, on the street by a some kids on the scoot on a scooter one time. And sometimes my friends during my middle school years would point out, you know, uh, you know, that I was chubby and, uh, you know, stuff like that. You know, that low key, you know, we know you're overweight. And even every trip to the doctor was every trip to the doctor was always, oh, you know, you, you got a high blood pressure, kid, you know, and um, I think it went as far one time. Um, when I, when I was going into my early, my early high school days, like early, early freshman year, I had a doctor's visit and I think that's when, uh, it became a concern when, um, you know, uh, they had to check, you know, my blood for my kidneys and stuff like that. But, um, you know, every doctor's visit, you know, always like, you got to lose weight kid. Uh, I eventually di did start slimming down, uh, my sophomore year. My sophomore year is when I really started to slim down and sort of, um, you know, look the way I am today. But yeah, let's go back to um, 2012. So 2012, you know, this was during uh, w like days where the where the Wii Fit was was a big thing, and um, you know, video games and exercising were were a thing that um, that came together. <laughs> I mean, today you don't really hear about video games and exercising because uh, people don't really um, exercise with video games anymore unless you count VR, but VR isn't really a f physical activity. I think these days people just go back to conventional workouts, you know, conventional uh, dieting and, you know, exercise. They don't use video games to get fit anymore. But, you know, back in the day, uh, in the late 2000s and the early 2010s, uh, the Kinect was, was another uh, big thing where, you know, yeah... You, you were the controller, you, you, you would move your body around and there were different games to, you know, to get you active and, and stuff like that. And I think that's what sold my brother and sister to get me an Xbox 360 with a Kinect for me to exercise and lose weight because, you know, any, any other physical activity wasn't showing results is, is my guess. And, you know, I, I during those days, I, I would like, you know, exercise and diet. I think I really started to peak exercise and diet during uh, during my pre-middle school days. During one summer, I was like legit cutting back on on like sugary cereals. I was eating all the nutritious stuff my brother was eating, and you know he was into protein drinks back then, and he was into all this other stuff. And 
you know, I think this uh, sort of mentality is, is um, what he wanted me to get into, into being fit and, you know, ditching the video games and, and start, um, you know, getting active. And that's why they got me an Xbox 360. They pitched in money together to get me an Xbox 360 with Kinect. It came with the Kinect Adventures bundle, and I think they had, like, they gave me some other Kinect games with it. And, you know, I had, I had a, you know, I had some fun playing around with the camera and, and playing around with the movements and stuff. Maybe I would pick it up for like an hour or so. But um, the problem was, here, here's the thing. Um, I still had like a bunch of old 360 games he had. So uh, there was one night where I popped in Lego Star Wars, The Complete Saga. And I started playing it. And this... This this kind of pissed off my parents a little bit that I was playing Lego Star Wars and sitting and playing on the 360 and they and they said hey didn't we, they get you this thing so you can get up and move so uh, the next day my parents snitched on my brother and he was like you know what I'm gonna sell your copy you know he sold a bunch of like 360 games that were pre pretty tempting to me he he sold his own copy of Dead Rising I believe um, and then he sold his his uh his copy of Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare to GameStop, which you know you you could probably go ahead and inform an angry mob against him, but um, it was to get me uh you know off the couch and start moving. And he also sold my copy of Lego Star Wars: The Complete Saga to GameStop, which is you know a crime today to to sell any game to freaking GameStop. And he got me some of the worst Connect games ever. Uh, I think it was a SpongeBob surf and skate game that he wanted me to move around in which barely even worked and you know there were some other ones um but yeah um after like maybe a yearish or so i was yeah i was i was gonna ditch the connect i i, I kind of just ditched it and uh my brother and my and my parents weren't so happy that i was you know now using my 360 to to sit around in games so pretty much uh, what plagued me until I got my PS4, which is my first truly owned console, the one that I actually own now, um, uh, is that they had this uh, one hour parental control timer. Like I was the only kid on the block that had a parental control timer because they didn't want me to sit around and get fat. And it was set to one hour while everybody else on on the block and, and everybody, my one of my friends had maybe you know, they gamed up to three hours or, you know, they had an unlimited amount of time, but I was the only kid that had the, you know, that was disciplined with one hour of gaming. And, you know, today, gaming for one hour isn't really a thing. Um, people don't really, us don't usually sit to, to game for an hour. Maybe, maybe they do, but, you know, people, you know, games are depending on, on how good the game is you're probably going to be there for a couple of hours or, or three hours uh, maybe eight hopefully you're not online for eight hours that's a, like that's like not healthy but you know a, a healthy amount of gaming is probably two three hours maybe even four if you're gonna stretch it out a little bit but you know gaming in moderation is good um you know i practice that uh now i i try to make sure that you know I'm, I'm not on super late to, to play video games. I'm not up at one in the morning playing Call of Duty. But um, the Connect, the Connect, uh, either way, ended up being a failure yeah, of, a, of a peripheral. It went the way of the Virtual Boy. It went out, uh, the way of the uh, the Xbox One Connect. And good riddance to those days. You know what's his face, Don Don Matrick, or whatever his face was. Uh, he's gone, and we got. Phil Spencer, Phil Spencer, my goodness, has he turned around Microsoft and Xbox, and I'm I'm excited for this next generation, and uh, and I'm just waiting to, to get my hands on that sweet new Xbox that's coming out. You know, gaming is good now. There's, they're actually spoiling us with powerful machines. You know, they're not the watered down machines that they used to give us. You know, they're they're they really put their blood, sweat, and tears into these next consoles, Microsoft and Sony. So they, uh, you know, this is like the latest tech you can get, the latest powerful machine. This is probably, for a little bit, it's going to be a little bit powerful than most PCs right now. Um, 
but in the long run, of course, PC, you know, always d dominates console. You know, you can do whatever you want on PC and you can even, you know, make the, the most powerful machines out of PC, but they're costly. And, and that's why I'm, I'm mostly a console guy because, you know, I'm, you know, it's just the way I've, I've gamed and it's, it's, it's a pretty convenient way to game. But yeah, guys, um, hope you like this story. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments, uh, how you gamed during your uh, childhood. My my childhood experience of gaming was very micromanaged because uh, of my health. But I do thank my brother and my mom and, and, you know, and my folks for at least encouraging some sort of, you know, healthy lifestyle habits and knowing what's healthy and not healthy because, you know, I could have been that one kid that just sat around for hours playing um, Black Ops and, and just swearing out older people, drinking Mountain Dew and eating Doritos and, and, and just <laughs> and, and just probably gaining even more weight, which is uh, unhealthy or, or perhaps, you know, it could have been damaging to my body. But you know what, um, you know, the, the past has has passed, I guess. It's all in the past, and hopefully we can look forward to progressing into a better future. So yeah, guys, uh, like this video if you like it, dislike if you dislike it, subscribe for more videos like this, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.